In this tutorial, we are going to create a model like this in Rhino and uh, we use uh, different commands of sub the tools panel as you may uh, watched my previous videos about working with sub the tools you may know that uh, it's not so hard to work with but uh, you should know some uh, tricks and uh, mm, have some practice with uh, rhino commands to be a master of it uh, so i go to my uh, rhino viewport to perspective uh, viewport and then I start to create the top part of that tower we just uh, saw so uh, I go to sub the tools and click on create sub the plane uh, I want to create it with center uh, points so I create a square like this by holding down shift and left click so I have it here uh, now I turn on the control points by hitting F10 and now I just uh, click on these control points and move them up so as you can see I have this shape here but uh, we want to um, have another form of this we want a uh, uh, arc here not down here so I control Z on it and again uh, use these control points over here and move them up or for example down like this a little bit more okay and now I have the top part of this tower as you may see here uh, and I move it to for example here and make it a little bit uh, larger by holding down shift and dragging this square button here okay now uh, I want to create another one so I hold alt and move this down for example to this point and uh, by uh, clicking on this blue uh, blue arc here we can define the value of rotation for this object so I type 45 degrees and hit enter I have it now here and I go to front viewport and move it move it to this part here okay so uh, we want to put these uh, arcs uh, on this uh, surf on this of the surface that we have here so we should uh, do some edits on the scale of this object so I just do this And now we have those two uh, surfaces we had on the top part and now we are going to create the body. I move uh, these two to for example this point. Okay. And now I duplicate edge this uh, border we have here. And click on it. Project to C plane. Yes, so I have it here. I click on it and uh, hit uh, and type area centroid to have this point over here. And now line enter V enter to create a vertical line because we want to uh, have some more specific uh, model here and it helps us to uh, uh, remain in the center part of the C plane. So, I start drawing a circle by this uh, center point we have, for example, a circle with a 14 meter uh, radius or, for example, 12 or 13. 13 is good, okay. Uh, and now we have to start uh, to create some profiles in between uh, to make that body we had here so 
I go uh, again to the main model to uh, make sure that uh, we haven't missed anything so it's uh, okay we are creating these profiles here these profiles here so uh, I go to my viewport Select this again. Now we have this surface uh, and after that I want to uh, put some thickness to these top these surfaces here so uh, I simply just need to make some uh, offset surface from these curves so uh, I choose and uh, from the surfaces I choose this surface I go to sub D tools and go to offset sub D and uh, put it for example on um, this sense of 0 0.1 maybe uh, maybe mm, small so I type it I type uh, 0 0.5 hit enter so as you can see it's again uh, small and flip the side like this it's good and again for this one okay and now I just need to uh, do it the uh, surfaces that I don't want and make some movements here for example That's it. 
So uh, now that we have created this, uh, the next level would be would be um, creating those uh, lines, uh, those surfaces over here. So I click on it and um, I rebuild this surface at first. For example, thirty. Thirty is. 30 is uh, a little bit small, so I type, uh, for example, 60 or even 100 and 100. Okay, that's it. Uh, so I go to my reference model. And now we want to create these openings here. So again, uh, I go here and I start to create an, an arc over here. So I uh, draw a box, for example. All right, and now I draw uh, uh, I draw an arc on this surface so I go to uh, set uh, set uh, C plane and change it to set C plane to object and create on this surface and now I draw uh, a cylinder by using two points like this okay and then I boolean these two Uh, and now I need to uh, make some boolean difference. So I move it here and I uh, click on this surface by holding down Ctrl and Shift and click on, on this surface and move it inside of this model like this. I click on it and I type uh, polar array and use this axis uh, and now I type for example uh, 15 and see how it goes it has some intersections here so uh, I reduce the number of items for example to 8 not bad I have this uh, we have this space between these two I think it's okay so now we have the arcs here I go to create uh, select last created objects and make a copy by uh, holding control and G and now uh, I select this surface and I go to split objects and I click on this Okay, now my surface is divided to two parts. One of them is this, and one is this. So I click on these two surfaces here and join them again. Okay, uh, and now I select this surface and I type offset surface. For example, to 0 0.5 uh, uh, units of uh, offsets okay it's created but it's not too much so I control Z on this and again uh, change it to for example 1.2 that's it yeah that's that's uh, satisfying I like it. Uh, next thing is that I uh, select these openings. Control G and change the layer of them to, for example, this one. And I rename it to grass. Okay. Uh, 
the next thing is creating the um, uh, mullions on these surfaces. You can use these uh, uh, iso curves on uh, these surfaces, or you may just simply create some lines by using contour. I create a circle where this center point we had here and I extrude this circle to see uh, where the surface will lead us okay it's here so uh, I guess we need more space Okay, and now I uh, split this surface by this uh, surface here and the surface we had here. So I click on this surface and I go to uh, split and choose this uh, uh, sub D surfaces here and this surface here. So it's uh, actually divided to two parts. And we don't need these two anymore so I delete them and now I have uh, these surfaces here okay uh, we don't need this and this one here and now uh, we just need some uh, rebuild process so I type rebuild For example, 20 might be good. 20 actually is not so good, so I uh, change it to, for example, 40. Yeah, it's good. I click on OK.
Okay, now uh, I have my um, mullions here, my uh, actually uh, railing here, and the top part that is dedicated to the glass panel uh, can can have some mullions on it. So I go to shaded mode and I click on this surface and um, I ungroup it. Okay, I. Uh, deselect everything and now I create I uh, select the curves so we have no selection here uh, I cre I select all the surfaces and now I type extract wireframe and uh, now I unclick it and I type cell to uh, create, create the curves that are overlapped on each other I delete them and again I uh, select the curves here and now I again uh, select the curves okay uh, and I create some mullions by typing pipe And I go to uh, render viewport and I have this uh, beautiful object here. I don't need the curves anymore so I uh, select them and I delete them. Okay, so it's it. it's uh, like this. Uh, these circ these uh, cylinders here and uh, our model will be finished. Uh, so as you can see our object is uh, finished and we have modeled it with uh, some easy commands in Rhino uh, and, I, and we started the video with sub-D tools and uh, ended it with uh, the simple uh, commands in Rhino. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Ask me any questions that uh, you may face it with. Uh, you may face it uh in the process of modeling this and i will uh, answer you in the comment section so uh, have a great day and stay tuned for other videos